so now you know about your bag of marbles or your light board or whatever analogy you want to make work for you every time that you're living a scenario wanted or unwanted connect those dots just a little bit and the most wonderful part about all of this is that when you've decided that you want to feel good and you've taken the time to focus on easy existing matches that do feel good and then you see things that match those easy ex in other words don't take some drama I know so-and-so is gonna be there and that's never good but I'm gonna fix it no you're not you're not gonna fix it you've already activated it you've already activated it we suggest you just don't go <laughs> but if you have to go because martyrdom is real if you have to go out of responsibility rather than being called to it if you're assigned to it if you've got to go because they're <laughs> expecting you to go then drink something strong <laughs> or, 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 or. try to diffuse your focus as best you can and don't look them in the eye in other words decide that you're going to take charge of what you're emitting and the better job you do of either not thinking about that person ever which is hard when they gave birth to you <laughs> and they're still holding that against you you'll develop some skills that work for you and what you'll begin to notice is that you can accomplish in every situation especially after you play with this for a little while scenarios that win-win you focus upon the best of those that you know are going to be there and by the best of them we mean the parts of them that make you feel the best the parts of them that are the easiest for you to focus on that feel good so that's your point of attraction and what you're going to begin to notice is that the best of those around you not just the humans but the beasts too not just the specifics but the general too the traffic the world in general you're going to discover that the law of attraction is responding to your self-interest we're just asking you to make your self-interest be and this is the clarifying piece your self-interest matches the self-interest of your inner being now here's why you were source energy before you came into this body and then you thought part of that consciousness into this physical body and splat here you are but the larger part of you remains non-physical and even though the larger part of you humans call it soul or source that larger part of you is aware of all of the pieces of your life experience all of the rooms all of the vibrational fields that you walk into your inner being walks in there too and your inner being has a bag of marbles about you and about everything else that's in that room so when what's active in you matches what's active in your inner being oh your power of influence is so lovely you're a lover and you're clear-minded you have clarity and balance and good timing that's who you are so what we are encouraging you to think about is before you walk into any human experience align with the bag of marbles that your inner being has got going on about those people because your inner being only knows their positive aspects and has only thought about their positive aspects for so long that you are not ever going to dissuade or persuade your inner being to join you Esther says Abraham I think you need more information about that person <laughs> because she knows that when she's got a tug of war going on with us she's not going to feel good and so it occurred to her years ago maybe she could get us to stop tugging toward the nice part of everything if you just join me in my logical hatred for that person 
then I wouldn't have to feel bad but over all these decades she's come to know we're not coming to the dark side in other words we know who they really are we know what they really want that's where we're focused and so we're not asking you to take on the responsibility for all of them you know you want them to change because if they were nice it would be easier for you but you don't get to decide what anybody else's point of view is you don't even get to understand why anybody else has their point of view you don't know what they lived when they were little or when they were bigger or even yesterday you don't know why they are active in the way that they are you only know why you are active in the way that you are and so if you'll stop living the conditional life that says clean up these conditions make these laws make these rules get these people to obey get these people to behave in ways that when I focus upon them I can naturally feel good you got to give that up for two reasons equally important one reason is you got to give it up because you got to give it up <laughs> because you can't do anything about it because you can't change anybody else's point of attraction because it's not your business to change anybody's point of attraction and you've been standing on your head in so many different ways trying to get them trying to cajole them into being happy in this moment or understanding what you mean in this moment or like you in this moment and what we're suggesting is that you just understand that they are a mixed bag and you focus upon what you're focused upon and let the law of attraction do the sorting of it out and as you do that you'll start noticing that the best of things that you've deliberately focused about the best of things that you've practiced easy good feeling matches about becomes the dominant experience of your life it just does because the law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn and it doesn't mean later it means now it means right now where all of your power is whether in this now you're thinking about what's going on in this room or you're remembering something from the past or you're anticipating or planning something in what you call your future experience you're doing it now you're offering the vibration now and the law of attraction is responding to your now and when you get hold of this your sense of empowerment and invincibility your ability to uplift your ability to produce win-win situations do you know you can't have a win-win situation with any other human or any other human experience any other physical experience of any kind you can't have a win-win experience if you haven't first found the win between you and your inner being so as you focus on wanting to feel good and you find that and then you walk into the room and at first it's gonna make you crazy because nobody's behaving the way you want them to <laughs> but when you let go of needing their behavior your freedom is gonna go through the roof your sense of your personal enlivenment your personal sense of empowerment you're just not gonna hardly be able to stand the immediate changes in your life experience when you deliberately collect your own bag of marbles sister's been playing all kinds of games she got ping pong balls and she wrote stuff on them that was a lot of trouble let's see where am I going and who am I going with yes let me pick through this pile of way too much trouble so then she just drew some marbles on a sheet of paper and thought about what she wanted active in her for this that worked pretty good then she realized she doesn't always have the time to draw it out so she can just envision and that's where these are the words we really want you to hear you're looking for easy existing matches not trying to fix something not trying to control anything you're not the law of attraction and you're not the stage manager <laughs> you are a point of attraction that you have much more control over than you have previously understood or practiced so we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> we want you to live happily ever after and now we know you can it's not gonna happen first crack out of the box but eventually like even later today you'll notice that your life is better so that's our story and we're sticking to it
and when you make it your story and you stick to it you're going to discover who you are how much importance you brought with you and how your life is supposed to be good and you're capable of guiding it in those ways so what do you want to talk about some things all right take it easy <laughs> you're gonna really like this we're gonna start right there if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next